Some people just know they could save hundreds on car insurance by checking Allstate first. Like, you know, to check the date of the big game first before you accidentally buy tickets on your 20th wedding anniversary and have to spend the next 20 years of your marriage making up for it. Yeah, checking first is smart. So check Allstate first for a quote that could save you hundreds. You're in good hands with Allstate. Savings vary. Terms apply. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. You go into your shower feeling... But as soon as you reach for the Irish Spring, your day immediately gets better. That crisp, fresh, unmistakable Irish Spring scent zings your brain and awakens your senses. So when you finally emerge from the shower, 37 minutes later, because you pay the water bill so you can stay in there as long as you want, you're ready to take on the day. And smell great doing it. Irish Spring Body Wash and Bar Soap. Fresh. Green. Irish. Shop now at Walmart. How do you look at a game where you don't give up a touchdown but don't force a punt? Yeah, I uh, think the first thing that comes to mind is we got to force them to punt, all right? Like, really proud of the guys and the resolve, the resiliency to get stops in the red zone, to keep playing through all the adversity that showed up, like to get stops after third and long completions on drives or conversions on, thro- on drives. Like, those things are backbreaking and continue to play and find stops, really proud of their resolve, especially after week one, not getting stops down there. Um, but we can't, let, we can't let them down there seven times. We can't, like, we gotta be better uh, out in the field. We gotta make sure we're getting off the field on third down, doing our part, not fouling on third down to extend drive. So a um, lot to improve upon, right? A lot to improve upon. Um, so we're, we're gonna keep working today, keep working tomorrow, and hopefully some of these things show up that we need to improve upon happen on Sunday. What did you see needs to improve with your run defense? Specifically? Yeah, I think tackling. Tackling showed up. Um, missed some tackles even on the on the scramble plays. We had guys and in, in opportunities to make plays on those to get off the field and third down and tackle showed up. Um, I think a couple were fit issues. I mean, one, we just get too nosy. We got him bottled up. We get nosy. He's, he leaks out on us. The, the post safety gets a little nosy as well, and it goes for 40, right? It's a potential third and one stop that turns into 40 yards. Um, so just continuing our fits, making sure we're, we're flying around, run to the football, making sure the missed tackles don't turn into, because they're going to happen. We got to reduce them. They're going to happen from time to time, but making sure those missed tackles end up being two, two to five additional yards instead of 10 plus, right? So. Just continue to work. I mean, there's there's good in there. Um, I mean, they ran the ball 35 times, right? So there's some good snaps in there. We got to eliminate the explosive runs. When you say no, so you saying looking too much instead of reacting, or no? I I think on that play it was so bottled up. Guys were starting to cram in there to push the pile or whatever it might be, and and we got too involved on the edge, and we got too too down with our post safety, and and it just popped on. You've had really good run defense in the past, playing light boxes. But what is the challenge for that, to be a good run defense when you're going to light a box? Yeah, I think knowing where your help's at, like at some point you're going to get help. Um, I mean, people like to say seven-man box. I like to say seven and a half, like know where your help's at. I think that's critical. I think based on some of the formations, run schemes, how we play some of that split safety coverage, we can dictate it, um, who that piece is going to be. Um, I think you got to be really good up front. Like you do, like you gotta be able to hang in there. You gotta be able to show up. We gotta get double teams off. We gotta be able to show back up when double teams come off. The backers gotta have a little bit of patience, but at the same time, trigger when they need to trigger. So, I mean, there's some things that come into it, um, but just something we gotta keep working at, right? So like post safety is easy. We can't let them run the ball in post safety defense first, right? Like that's easy. One gap, go fit. Um, and the quarter stuff, just continue to work at our understanding, making sure we're good there. Bobby Okereke indicated to us earlier in the week that he was doing, trying to do his job and other people's job. How do you interpret that? Like, what does that mean? Yeah. And my guess is it's not ideal. Yeah, no, I, I, that's across the unit. Like, I don't think that's just Bobby. Um, we got to make sure we're all 11 guys are focused on doing their job because it t- turns into a chain reaction. Somebody's out of place. Somebody sees somebody going somewhere that's doesn't look right to them and then all of a sudden they want to make that guy right and then right now they're finding it right like we're we're at a point right now where they're finding it every time a lot of times sometimes they don't find it right and you get away with stuff um 
they're finding it right now. So we we got to lock in, make sure we're doing our job on every snap. I got to do a good job putting them in positions where they can execute their job. Um, but again, worry about your 111. Trust the other guys. Keep building that confidence in the other guys that they're going to be where they're supposed to be as well. You conveyed that to him that he needs to just do his job, even I, if it's at the to the whole group. Mercy of the group. To the whole group. Like I, okay. we all got to do it. Every single play, we got to do our job. Like we got to focus. And there'll be times where where they make plays where where they don't. And it's the old adage: if you make it, I'll probably say good job, and I'll coach you and say next time it's probably not going to work out that way, right? Like let's see if we can coach the action and not necessarily the result of what happened. Because a lot of times there's good plays that happen and we don't necessarily do it the right way. And the next time we don't do it the right way, it ain't going to be so good for us. Your your assessment so far of uh, your two rookies, uh, uh, Phillips and and Newbin. Yeah, I've been pleased with them. Um, Again, they're rookies, they're learning. Uh, Situational awareness uh, is going to build over time, right, as they play. Uh, but really pleased with them, really was pleased with Drew. I think his toughness showed up. He was productive. He was involved. Um, the more he plays, I think the better he's going to get. Same thing goes for Newbin. But both those guys care. They're passionate about football. They want to learn. They want to get better. They're different just in their approach and how they learn, leadership, where they're at, really coming into this thing. Um, but both are valuable pieces to us right now, and I, I think they're doing a good job for being being young. You uh, seem to on the third and longs. Is there something that you see you might need to change to address that? Absolutely. Like I mean, if if I could have had those two two back where he scrambled and spied him, I probably would have. Right. Um, that's one area. Like, you can second guess all you want, um, but we we had spy in. Like we we did it. We transitioned to doing some of that with Zay. And then just not spying him on those situations when he when he converts and make those like you kick yourself on that. Um, and then really to me it was the two scrambles and it was the two penalties. Right, one of the penalties negated a sack in the second half by Burns where we're going to get the ball, force him to punt. Um, but just continue to work, make sure our guys are comfortable with the plan. They can go out there and play fast. And I'll say it again, find ways to win their one-on-ones when the opportunities present, present themselves, which I think we, we did last week rushing. Find when ways to win one-on-ones without what? One, one-on-ones when, the, when they present themselves. Oh, yeah. With your defensive line, it seemed like you went in with a, like, I think Dex, Kayvon, and maybe even Brian all came out on that first drive for at least the play. How much of that was situational? How much of that is philosophical long-term? That's something you're looking to do more. Yeah, I think just, you get those extended drives, just trying to spell them, not gas them out the first series of the game, early in the game. Like, you try to find your spots, I think, in the first half, maybe early in the second half, because ultimately we're going to need them at their best at the end of the game. Like, all these games are going to come down to a two minute situation, four minute situation, whatever it might be. Like, we're going to need them at their best. So, especially early in the season, I think just being mindful of that, finding ways where we can spot them. Um, just to make sure they're they're geared up and ready to go in the fourth quarter when we need them. You heard more offense throwing many passes at or behind the line of scrimmage. I think the layman says, why are the cornerbacks given a cushion? So I'm just curious like, what the philosophy is there. Because, again, that just seems like the simple fix, press up, but I'm sure there's more. You're, like, on the bubble type stuff? Yeah, like a third and one where yeah. they, they get it out there and the guy picks it up. No, you, you want to be tight. Like, you absolutely want to challenge. You, you want to be able to stay square, not back up, be aggressive. Um, I think offenses are creative with making sure it's not spread out where it's just easy doing that. Like there's a, they stack guys up, they bunch guys. If you're both up there on the same level, they're allowed to pick within a yard. Like there's a lot, allowed to be collisions there. Um, so we, we got to be mindful of that. We got to understand that. We have different ways of playing it where we can hopefully get, get attached pretty quickly as it sorts out um, based on what we're playing. But I mean, that's, that's one thing, but going in, like you get those third to one to six is like you got to be able to challenge. And I think the, the shorter ones come into play a little bit, even just the, the run game piece of having to replace a cracker 
you're up there, a guy's going to crack a safety or a backer, and all of a sudden I'm chasing that guy in and I can't show up to be a piece. Like they're going to get these corners involved in the run game. So that shows up a little bit on third and one and third and two, those situations. Um, but again, we want to challenge in those situations as best we can and, and use our tools to help us, whether they're stacked or bunched or whatever it might be. Are you considering any significant personnel changes based on that performance or try to roll with the guys you had and tighten it up? Yeah, uh, I mean, tighten it up. I think across every position, every guy, including myself, like we need to be better. Uh, so continue to improve, learn, learn from the things that happened to us already. Like they're not going anywhere. Like it's a copycat league. Teams see something that hurts you, they're going to come back to us and making sure we're we're locking in on those things and then being able to handle the stuff that, that show up on Sunday that maybe we weren't able to see or something new scheme wise. So um, for the most part, I think we're pretty status quo there as far as rotation and where we're at right now. How much more of an impact should Burns and Thibodeau be making? Yeah, I think Tibbs had a great game. Like I do, I think he, he made major strides from week one to week two. Um, he challenged himself to come out here and work and prepare and like you, you felt the urgency from him after week one and it shows like told the unit like go look at last Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's practice and watch KT turn on the tape on Sunday and it's going to show up right so um, really really pleased with him and and his approach last week Burnsy like when when we get the opportunities we got to take advantage of them there's a lot of chipping going on last last week in some of those situations we were we were spying which they end up having six guys for three five guys for three whatever that might be so i think tibbs got a little bit more of those one-on-ones than possibly Burnsy did um but he, again he tried to make the most of it he he showed up there late when we got the defensive penalty the holding call and drew had a sack there that got negated so just continue with both those guys like Stay on the attack, like stay on the attack. You don't know when all those opportunities are going to come all the time. Make sure we're ready to capitalize on them when they come. Some people just know they could save hundreds on car insurance by checking Allstate first. Like, you know, to check the date of the big game first before you accidentally buy tickets on your 20th wedding anniversary and have to spend the next 20 years of your marriage making up for it. Yeah, checking first is smart. So check Allstate first for a quote that could save you hundreds. You're in good hands with Allstate. Savings vary. Terms apply. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois.